arson, violence, and lawlessness on American streets. My team just got off the phone with Governor Evers, who agreed to accept federal assistance. 12 News' Kent Wainscott joins us now from Kenosha. And Kent, you spoke with the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, about the additional show of force. Yeah, that's right. Those 200 law enforcement officers are FBI and U.S. Marshals. That's on top of now 500 Wisconsin National Guard members and up to 2,000 more Guard members from other states at the ready, authorized and ready to go if necessary. Now, I did speak with the White House Chief of Staff from right outside of this burned out state probation building earlier this afternoon, just a short time after his conversation with Governor Tony Evers. This is also where we heard from some Kenosha County board members today who had written the governor calling for more federal help. And I asked the White House Chief of Staff what that support, now that it's here, will look like on the streets. We will have actually certainly the FBI and the U.S. Marshals will have police powers. They'll work in conjunction with our local law enforcement there uh, to be able to make arrests. What the governor sent to us originally did not suffice. It didn't even it didn't put a dent in the damage that we were seeing happen to our community. Thanks. <clears throat> And Governor Evers made that call to accept these reinforcements after initially turning down an offer of help from U.S. Homeland Security on Tuesday. Those extra reinforcements and uh, law enforcement officials will be on the streets of Kenosha here this evening.